Reins can be cut in half. Of course, anything can be cut in half, but a brain can be cut in half without destroying it, without killing the person owning it. Wait, who found this out though? How do we even know this? Well, enter the corpus callosum, a structure in the brain that connects left and right parts of the brain and allows information exchange. Both sides of the brain know what the other side is doing because of this structure. But brains are complex systems with billions of moving parts, much like the weather. And just like the weather, some brains can go through occasional storms called seizures. In some rare serious patients, Repeated seizures can cause brain damage and death. A desperate attempt to save such patients is to surgically stop this infinite loop of activity surging through the brain by cutting the corpus callosum. The brain of such a patient is now forever divided in two. It was the 1960s. Michael Gazenega, a renowned neuroscientist, understood the possibilities of research that were available with such patients. He conducted various experiments where two sides of the brain would see and hear different things and the subsequent questions asked to the patient would give us important hints about the workings of each half. Gazenega noticed that these patients had unique abilities that are not available to you and me. They could, for example, draw different figures with each hand simultaneously. Michael Gazenega wrote many books and research papers on the findings over the years. Now see, the researchers already knew that the left brain controls the right side of the body and the right brain controls the left side. The patient sits in front of a screen and told to focus on the center of the screen. Words quickly flash on either side of the screen and the patient is asked what he saw. The researchers find out that if the right eye sees the word, the patient tells you the correct answer. But when the left eye is shown a word, the patient can't answer. He tells you he does not know. However, if they ask him to draw what he just saw with the left hand, he is able to draw. As he draws, his left brain is now witness to the drawing as an outsider. And when the drawing is clear enough, he finds out the answer and he tells you the answer. Conclusion is two things. First of all, we just found out that the right brain can't talk, but it can understand. Secondly, the left brain got the right answer not from the inside of his head but from the piece of paper in front of him. His right brain was essentially playing Pictionary with his left brain. So some part of him knows the answer and some part of him does not. Imagine being that person for a second. You are asked what you just saw on the left side of the screen but you are unable to answer. You simply do not know. But your left hand is drawing something and you do not have access to what it is that the left hand is drawing from. There is some center of consciousness, there is something inside that knows before you do. Are there two people inside? Are there two centers of knowing in your head? Can consciousness be cut in two with just a knife? Literally. Thanks for watching. See you next time.